Everything you need to complete this room is provided to you within these walls. No outside tools or devices will be required or allowed. If you happen to find yourself in a dark place, physically, not emotionally, do not pull out your cell phone and use your flashlight application. This is considered cheating, and cheaters may be detained indefinitely. If you need a flashlight, one will probably be provided to you in the room. If not, sacrifice the weakest player. Please note, no audio, Let photographic, or video recording will be allowed. Please do not lift or move any large or heavy items or furniture to prevent damage or injury. Anything useful to you will be below standard door frame height. There will be no need to search through ceiling tiles or scale walls. Likewise, please refrain from inserting metal objects into wall outlets. The electricity that we use is real, as is the pain you will feel if you accidentally electrocute yourself. Although you may actually be locked in this room, there is an emergency escape that may be used at any time should the need arise. Depending on the chamber you have chosen to attempt, either a push button or a quick escape key located next to the door will allow you to leave at any time. If neither of these are present, simply turning the doorknob of the door you entered will do the trick. Please note this would not constitute actually escaping the scenario. You don't think we'd make it that easy, do you? If you need to review this procedure, please let your game master know immediately. Your game master will also be helping to guide you through the scenario with the use of audio and video equipment. Please do not tamper with these devices. You would not want to risk losing communication and your only lifeline to help. If something is mounted on the wall, it should stay on the wall. If something says, do not touch or do not move, please do not touch or move these objects. If you need someone to explain what these two things mean, you're probably not getting out anyway. If you encounter any electronic keypads, type in the code first and then press enter. The enter button is typically located in the lower right hand corner. But be warned, too many wrong codes may result in a lockout. This could be for 30 seconds, 30 minutes, or permanently. So please be careful when entering those codes. Please do not force open any doors, drawers, or locks. If something does not move with light to medium pressure or force, it is most likely not intended to move or unlock, or does not intended to move or unlock yet. Check your codes or keys and try again. Never use force to achieve your objectives. If something looks heavy, breakable, or expensive, it probably is. Please handle all items with care. This is a directional lock. If you enter an incorrect code, you will need to clear the lock before entering a new one. To clear a directional lock, depress the shackle twice, as shown. If you find yourself stuck on a particular puzzle, redeeming a clue will allow your game master to provide you helpful information to make it easier to advance to the next step. Let your game master know by yelling, dancing, jumping around, or generally making a fool of yourself. This will let them know that you really, really want a clue. Once the clue has been redeemed, a red X will take the place of a green padlock. There is a maximum of three clues for each scenario. Be sure to use them wisely. If there are any other questions or concerns, please feel free to ask your game master before you begin. They say, a picture is worth a thousand words, but no one ever says what those words are. Pain. Torture. Agony. Screaming. Only 996 to go. After being personally invited to model at a private casting call hosted by charismatic photographer Adrian Scarro, you and a handful of other hopefuls find yourself in a posh studio, surrounded by white walls and displays of hauntingly beautiful photos. Maybe a glass of water will help calm your anxiety. He really should look at filtered water. This stuff tastes weird. You begin to have second thoughts as your nerves get the better of you. You try the door, but it is locked firmly in place. You remember hearing about mysterious disappearances and murders in the area over the past few months. But this can't be. It's not. Oh my god. It's him. You know you don't have much time to get out before he gets back. But how? The clock is ticking and you are starting to feel dizzy. 
really dizzy. The water. No, 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 no. This is not happening. A voice in your head screams, get out now. You don't have much time. None of you do.